Yes, hello and welcome everybody to another instalment of Inside the Actors Studio. My name is Clive Warren, of course, and today I'm joined by a very old friend of mine. We're old chums indeed. A man who many might not know before becoming a screen legend was, amongst other things, a milkman. He was a bricklayer. He was a coffin polisher. I did say coffin. And a lifeguard, just to mention a few. A man who People Magazine voted the sexiest man alive in 1989. And if you ask me, he hasn't lost it one bit. A man who has an unmistakable screen presence and an unrivaled distinction of character in his voice. To his close friends, he's known as Big Tam. But in the movie credits and Hollywood headlines, he is Sir Sean Connery. Sean, it's great to have you here, old chap. Well, uh, thank you, Clive. I wish I could share the shame. Oh, it started already, ladies and gentlemen. It started already. The banter, the wit, the comic, just like old times. You're in for a roller coaster ride, ladies and gentlemen. Let me assure you of that. I know you're kidding, Sean. I know it. (laughs) No, no. Actually, I despise you. We're not even friends, you and I. Oh, another one straight off the bat. Wow, well, let me just... uh, Heidi... Heidi, you better keep the whiskey sours coming. It's going to be a long night. Yeah. Mm, I think I'll <laughs> need to. It's going to be a long night with my old friend here. Okay, now getting to the questions. Moving on, moving on. Please here we do. go. Now, Sean. Yeah. Now, it's very well known and understood that your voice, being such a distinctive voice, mm-hmm. many, many other characters and actors in films and just for fun seem to want to imitate you and take it off. True. Do you find that flattering at all when that happens? Do you you realise the impact that your voice has on uh, the other greater acting community? hmm? Well, I must say, when you have a voice like this, it is very hard Mm -hmm. to not find yourself sexy. Quite often I like to walk around and just say abstract words eh, that sound good with Sean Connery saying them. Sure. For instance, I was in the supermarket the other day, mm-hmm. uh, the uh, dairy aisle it was, yeah. and I remember looking around and I looked up at the cheeses and I saw a cheese I was very unfamiliar with and it said gorgonzola and I looked at it and I thought, hmm, gorgonzola, that could be a Sean Connery word. Really? Soon enough. I had people standing around me just to hear me say Gorgonzola. Wow! Eventually, there was a PA announcement, Sean Connery in the dairy aisle, (laughs) saying abstract words. I had flocks, people coming around me everywhere. It can be quite hard. I bet it could be. I wish that I was a fly on the wall when that happened. That doesn't make sense. makes any uh, sense. I don't think it does. But anyway, that's a great story. It really is. Well, if you just try it, you know, if you go and say Gorgonzola. I don't know know about that. I bet you it doesn't sound as sexy as when I say it, huh? Give it a go. All right, all right. Here we go, here we go. Gorgonzola. She... You've got nothing. No, it doesn't really work, does it? Doesn't have the same pizzazz, the same style, does it? No. The dulcet tones of one Sir Sean Connery. Oh, that's fantastic. Moving on, moving on. Now, Sean, it's very well documented that your favourite 007 or Bond film that you starred in Mm -hmm. was Thunderball. Now, I was wondering, just out of my own curiosity, whether you'd seen the porno counterpart for that film entitled Thunderballs. No. No? No, No, neither have I. Neither have I. Moving on, moving on. Sean, now, tell me if you disagree, but... I've got a feeling that most of the films that you star in mm. always seem to have what I refer to as Conneryisms in them, where yeah. you will say a line or two uh, that really stick in the viewer's mind well, when they yeah. walk away from the film, and uh, hence the reason why so many people, I think, are always imitating you. But would you agree with that comment, Sean Connery, would you? Well, of course I would. Eh? The scripts are written around this voice. So yeah, of course people of course, are going to be yes, walking away. Yes. 
uh, saying Sean Connery lines mm. and trying to be me. Mm. Yeah, it's just perfectly natural. Well, I'm glad that you agree with me on that, Sean, because on this piece of paper that I've just handed yeah. you there, uh, we're going to do a little little bit of fun, a bit of a well, game. Let me put my glasses where, on. Uh, I'm going to go through some of my favourite films of yours and uh, where I'll get you to say these one-liners that have right. now become so right, famous Clive. throughout right. Hollywood. Uh, if you don't mind, Sean, that's is that fine. all right? Yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. Let's get the show for them done with, eh? Oh, Gray, such a professional. Always the consummate professional Sean Connery. Okay, here we go. Now, the first okay. movie we're going to do is Entrapment, Entrapment yeah. with the lovely okay. Catherine Zeta-Jones, where the line on my part is, this is Entrapment. And you say? Entrapment is what cops do to thieves. I prefer to call this kidnapping, eh? Bravo, bravo. Yes, yes. All right. Rolling along with it now. Yeah. The next one we're going to the do Rock. is from yeah. another favorite of mine, The Rock, starring Ed Harris and Nicolas Cage. Yeah. At one point, Nicolas Cage turns to you and says, I'll try my best. And you say... Your best. Losers are always whining about trying their best. Winners go home and shag the prom queen. Uh, Yes. And you'll notice, Clive, that I yeah. cleaned that up a little bit for you. Eh? Well, show me yeah. that. That's called improvising. Yeah. Oh, oh, forget, hang on a sec. Heidi! Heidi! Have you seen this? Don't you proofread anything, Heidi? This has got the F word. No, take it. it easy, Clive. The F word. This is a family show. Oh, I That's don't know right. about her showing sometimes. That's I right. really don't. You know, I don't know whether she's just illiterate. I don't know just how somebody dumb. could be so dumb of so many of their waking hours. It's just, it just astounds yeah. me. Stounds me. Push me over with a feather. Anyway, forgive me about that, Sean Connery. We're going to proceed now with the next film, but which I'm a big fan of, which is Medicine Man, in which you co-star, or sorry, you star, but you have a co-star mm. in it, Lorraine Bracco. Now, here's your line. I've got nothing to say, and it's over to you, and action! I've found the cure for the plague of the 20th century. Now I've lost it. It was Sugar Ranch. Oh, yes, boil my kettle twice, because that's hot stuff. I love it. I love it. I'm having a great time. Are you having a great time, Not really, Sean? no. Because this is just a dream come true for me. Two old Not chums for me. just sitting in the studio, going back and forth, having a having a drink, a quiet drink to themselves. Yeah, yeah. Now, I did want to ask you, Sean, as well, mm. uh, the report of when you were smoking from such a young age, uh, uh, did you think that that did anything for you, uh, health-wise, I mean? Uh, what got you into smoking? Well, I started smoking because when I was nine years old, I heard myself say the word cigarettes. And once I said cigarettes, I found that I wanted to keep saying it. So, naturally, I took up smoking eh, so I could walk around and offer people a cigarette. Eh, it's as simple as that. There is no science behind it. Fascinating. Eh? Fascinating stuff, Sean. Unbelievable, really. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Very interesting, I might add. I also wanted to ask you, uh, you were offered a role in uh, in The Matrix, this is which obviously went on to become such a massive box office hit, but mm. you actually turned it down um, yeah. initially. Uh, number one, do you have any regrets about that? No. And number two, why did you turn it down in the first place? I'm interested to know. I think the listeners would be interested to know about that, Sir Sean Connery, if you don't mind, sir. Well... I have no regrets about passing that film up. Well, that's good. And number two, I passed it up because, well, to be honest, I read the script five times and I just couldn't make out what the hell The Matrix was. Oh. I couldn't figure out whether I was in a fairy tale or I was in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's very strange to me and I like abstract things. I like saying words like yeah, Matrix. Of course. You know, and Gorgonzola, but, you know, it just didn't seem to work. I no, couldn't figure no, it out. Yeah? No. So I had to pass it up, unfortunately, but I have no regrets. No, well, I don't blame you, Sean. To be honest, it's not really my cup of tea either. No. I, mean, I know it was a box office smash and everything. But well, uh, yeah. you know, it doesn't really fluff my pillows at all. Doesn't mm. doesn't put the wind in my sails or blow my skirt up and move on, Clive. Like that. Move it's on. Very, very, very strange. But anyway, moving on, moving on. Thank you for answering that question. No problem. Uh, okay, now what we're going to do now is every every time I get a very special guest oh, in, not which another you are, poem, Clive. Now, I like. To, uh, to write a poem no. and have my special guest read it out no. to conclude the show. It sort of wraps everything up. Oh. You know what I mean? So this I'm going to hand one, this Clive. over to you now, Sean. This and is I'm the last to, uh, one. Uh, All right. And, and Never again. To read this poem, Never again. Don't mind, sir. I think you'll thoroughly enjoy it. So here oh, you go, okay. and we'll catch you in. And here we go. Three, two, one, action! A set of sizzling sausages shat on a barbecue on the southern seaside. 
How would those shizzling sausages get out of there? Maybe hitch a ride? For these shizzling sausages are sharing in the heat. I love to wrap my mouth around the sausage. It's the best of all the meats. Yes! For bravo! Sakes, Clive. Bravo! Bravo! Getting a clap you are from 100% never again, of Clive. the studio audience, never again. which uh, just contains myself. But it's better than getting no percent, that was if ridiculous. you know what I mean. Well done to you, Sean ridiculous. Connery. It's been my absolute pleasure, my old not friend. Not mine. My old chum. No, my old not. pal. No. To see you no, again. Not. Let's not leave it so long next time. Let's make it 20 yeah, years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, maybe then uh, we'll see you again soon, I hope. No. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. or shall I say Sir Sean Connery, it's it's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, Thank you once again. I'm out of here. And we'll see you next time, everybody. This is Clive Warren saying bye for now.